you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about some goals that I am planning to achieve in the year of 2023. I am so weirded out that we are approaching 2023. What kind of goals do I have in store? I'm going to be going over those um, and then also like I have a lot of channel goals. I have some personal goals and I think it's pretty much it. I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is why I have been so absent recently and also why my channel has been all over the place for the last year. As far as my absence recently, um, since moving into our new house, um, life has just been really, really overwhelming and we're trying to get into the groove of everything. I feel like we finally found a groove, but we not only bought a house, but we did get some new pet bunnies, which have been its own challenge. Um, and so that's been really fun. But again, we're just kind of navigating this new season in our lives. And then as far as me being so all over the place this year, firstly, I apologize if you are one of the OG subscribers and you remember when I was like videos twice a week and everything was creative and really good because it fell a lot. So the reason for that is I have literally been in a year long slump and some days have been better than others. This time last year, Jonathan and I were packing up our apartment and getting ready to move. I mean like days after Christmas, we were packing our apartment. And so then the whole month of January, we're working on packing, getting everything, you know, ready to move. In February, we moved into my grandmother's home. Um, we lived upstairs in a bedroom for eight months, which was way longer than we anticipated. We thought it was going to be like four months of our lives. Um, we were in there for eight and it was crazy and it came with its own challenges. Um, obviously living with family is going to be tough for anybody, but I really didn't have really the time to read or the motivation to read. And I think it was because I felt like if I sat down to read a book, there could have been a million other things I could have been doing. And so anytime I sat down to read, I just felt guilty. And um, so obviously it made it to where I didn't really want to read ever, um, which was super sad. Um, and so that was eight months out of the year. So we get to like September, October, and then of course we're readjusting to the new home and trying to find our flow of like living in our own space all over again. And that was hard to figure out. Like it was like we were newly married all over again and remembering that like, okay, someone needs to do the dishes and someone needs to, you know, clean. And now we have a lawn to take care of and, you know, bills were coming back and like all of that. And so it was just kind of a lot. Um, and it made it to where I still had no motivation to read at all. Um, but I have found my reading groove again. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I have been reading now for three weeks, I think, two or three weeks, something like that. Um, and I'm honestly like confident that my slump is over because I have my content creativity back. So like I'm feeling excited to make videos again and I am getting excited to sit in front of the camera. If you were to ask my husband right now what my content creativity spark is like right now, it's like every moment of the day I'm like filming something because I'm like, oh, this would be such a cool video. This would be such a cool video. And just trying to branch out into new things and all of that. And it's been super, super fun. So I'm excited for all of the content that's going to be coming your way in 2023. So get ready for that. If you're new here and you're like, what is she talking about being gone? I haven't even been here. I was gone, but I'm back. Um, and I feel like I'm back better than ever. So get ready for an amazing year in 2023. I'm super, super excited. With all of that being said, now I feel like we can get into the goals. And now that you guys have some context as to where my life has been recently, then my goals will make a little bit more sense. First goal I wanna talk about is how many books I plan to read in 2023. Let, let me give you an overview really quick. So in 2020, I read 105 and that was my first year back at reading since I was like 14. Like that was like my first time being back and I just really dove headfirst into the reading world. Loved every minute of it. Obviously you guys can watch my journey through that whole year. Um, and it was amazing and I had the best time. Um, and then last year I set 
a goal. I think it was originally for 100 and then I took it down to 75 realizing that like, oh, I'm kind of in a slump. Let's see how many books I've read this year. I actually stopped keeping up forever ago, so it's possible that this isn't even accurate, but okay, I think my Goodreads is broken, you guys. So I have my goal set to read 75 books this year. According to this, and the last book that I logged was August... 13th. So I stopped tracking in August. I've read like maybe two or three books, maybe like five or six books since then, but it's been very bad. Um, and according to my Goodreads challenge, I have read 46 books this year, again, from the last time I tracked. Um, and my Goodreads is trying to tell me that I'm on track to finish at 75 books at the end of the year. It's like, you're on track. No, I'm not. I'm like 30 books behind, but this thing is convinced that I can read 30 books in like 12 days. I don't want to go too heavy in the year of 2023. Like I kind of want to give myself a little bit of grace. So I've lowered my goal a little bit from 100. 100 is what I really want to read. Like that's like kind of like my mental goal, but my physical goal that I'm going to put in Goodreads is 75. I feel like 75 books is doable. Um, and I feel like that is something that I could accomplish, um, obviously, if I stay on top of my reading game. So plan to read 75 books. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys' reading goal is for 2023. I'm really re interested to know how many books everybody plans to read. I feel like some of you are like, I plan to read 200 books because I read 230 last year. So that's you. You keep going because I don't think I will ever get there. Okay, my next goal for 2023, I keep wanting to say 2022, 2023 um, is I really, really, really want to read my physical TBR. I have so many books on my shelf that I have not read and it is honestly so disappointing. Like at this point, they've been on my shelves for so long, I should just get rid of them because I'm not gonna read them. But the reason I haven't gotten rid of any within the last year is because I just feel like that's a little bit unfair to myself considering that I was in a slump for so long. A lot of the books that I have on my shelves that I haven't read, plan to get through. I do plan, guys, this I feel like will be really fun, but I do plan to do a reading through my physical TBR series on my channel and 2023 where I have like a week in maybe not a week in each month but like an allotted amount of time that is dedicated to finishing all of these books on my shelves. I have three bookcases worth of books on my shelves and probably a case and a half I haven't read. We're gonna try and get through my physical TBR that's what I'm going to be prioritizing this year. Obviously after Christmas it's not Christmas yet when I'm filming this but after Christmas I do plan to do some book shopping videos and um, probably another book haul because I will have Christmas money and gift cards to Barnes and Noble and things like that. So I will definitely be using those. Um, but after that, I'm really going to try not to buy too many things um, just so that I can get through all of this. My third goal for 2023, um, this I feel like is going to be really important considering the thing that I just came out of. Um, but I'm going to allow myself to do a lot more mood reading. Um, I did notice last year that I put so much pressure on myself to like stick to my TBR for the month and make sure that I'm reading books for certain themed videos and all of that. I will still have themed videos. I will still have TBR videos. Like I will still have all of that, but I'm definitely going to give myself more leeway to read whatever I want. And if I'm not feeling like reading the book that is in my hand, then I'm going to put it back on the shelf and I'm going to get one that I want to read um, because reading should be fun and it shouldn't feel like a chore for me. So I am going to be doing that. So there will probably be a lot of random weekly reading vlogs of all of my mood reading because I just want to make sure that reading is fun for me and that I don't end up in a slump like that ever again. So that is one of the ways I'm going to try and avoid that. The next goal that I have for 2023, I feel like this is one of my goals like every year, but this year I'm trying to really stick to it. Um, but it's just reading more audiobooks. So, you know, like if I'm driving by myself to work, like I'm listening to an audiobook or even like a podcast or like something, like just doing a lot more listening to get my um, auditory skills better because I'm kind of horrible at listening um but i feel like audiobooks also really really help me get through books like maybe if i'm not having time to sit down and physically read in the week like there's definitely i definitely have time to just turn on my phone and let it play an audiobook for me while i clean the kitchen or clean the house or you know whatever that looks like there's definitely time i just need to be better about creating the time for audiobooks okay i had to switch over to my other camera battery because my battery died the last goal that i have written on here which isn't 
all of it, but the last goal that I have written on my piece of paper has to do with readathons. So a lot of you guys were here when I was doing um, the recovery readathon every single month, um, trying to host a readathon for you guys every month. Um, and I realized very quickly that that is too much for me to handle. If I was doing YouTube full time, then absolutely readathons once a month. YouTube is not my main job. I would love for it to be, but that's not the case for me yet. Um, and so that's just a little bit much for me. So what I am going to do is host the recovery readathon every quarter. So I'm going to try to do one like early in the year, like January, February, and then I'll wait till like April, May, May, June, around there to do it again. Um, that's just going to pace myself a little bit better. Um, feel free to do a recovery readathon every month for yourself. Like I think that that would be amazing. Um, the bingo card never changes. You can just pick your own day. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to ease back a little bit with that and just accept that I can't host readathons every single month. I just can't do it as much as I would love to. I can't. So there's that. Another goal that I have that I'm literally thinking of as I'm talking about readathons is to try, try, the keyword here is try, you guys, um, to try and host more reading sprints for you guys. I really, really love doing sprints with you. I love getting to talk with you guys in real time. I love just like sitting and reading with you. It's like so fun for me and I don't do it enough. So I'm going to try to do that more often. I am not going to commit myself to a weekly thing or a monthly thing or anything. I'm literally not going to put a time on it at all. I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to try and do it more often. And when it happens, it happens. The other thing that I am going to address in this video for my future self, and for my own accountability. You guys are gonna have to help keep me accountable to this. Um, but I did notice in the year of 2022 that my priorities in my life quickly got out of order and I don't want that to happen in 2023. So I'm going to tell you guys what my priorities are in order so that you guys will understand why I might not be full throttle on YouTube all the time. Um, I definitely plan to upload regularly and get as much videos out to you guys as I possibly can, but I also have this certain list of priorities to remind myself that like, there doesn't have to be all of this pressure on YouTube for me. Like it should be fun and it should be a creative outlet for me and it shouldn't feel like I, you know, am doing it to please people or, you know, to make myself worthy of something. Like, that's not what it's about. I have four priorities in life. Um, my number one priority is my relationship with Jesus. It should stay that way. I don't know why I have this idea that, like, I can just get through life without Jesus because it doesn't work. Work. So I'm definitely going to be prioritizing that and making sure that I am spending time in the word every single day and praying and worshiping and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I just need to be better about it. So that is my number one priority and it will stay my number one priority. I'm going to make sure of it. Um, my second priority is my husband because I love him and I chose him and I am going to spend the rest of my life with him. Um, and he matters next to the Lord. So he matters more than anything that this world could give me. Um, so I'm going to be making sure that I'm still spending time with him. And if there is any point where something like YouTube is getting in the way of spending time with him, then that is where I know that I need to cut back on YouTube a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna be making sure that I'm pouring time into him and, you know, just being there for him and going on date nights and making things special and, you know, doing all that good stuff. So that is going to be my second priority. Third priority is my real life job. Like the job that I have behind the camera. I work in an orthodontist office. I am so blessed to say that I only have to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I only work three days a week. However, it's from like 7.30 to 5. So it is a stinking long day. Um, but that is going to be my third priority because right now that is what pays my bills. So, you know, I I need to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to be the best that I can there. Um, and then fourth, my priority is reading and YouTube and all of that because it is a hobby and I love doing it. Um, I'm not telling you these priorities so that I can disappear for another two months and then you guys just get to be like, oh, don't worry about it. And I just get to kind of like be lazy about YouTube because I don't want to be lazy about YouTube because I do love it and I love you guys and I want to give you guys my best. Um, but in order to give you guys 
my best. I have to give other things the first pieces of me. All of that to say, those are my goals for 2023. I am really, really excited for the year and really excited for what's to come as far as this channel goes. And you guys, I'm excited to grow our little family over here on booktube. Um, and I think it's gonna be really fun. Uh, I'm super excited to have each of you with me during this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some more clarity as to where I have been and where I am going. Um, I'm super excited to do it with you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.